Well, glad to have with us on this uh, Friday noonday prayer meeting time. Now, let me give you just a couple of quick things to pray for some folks. Uh, do remember uh, Sister Laura Maxwell, that is uh, Donna Maxwell's mother. Uh, she is in the hospital, got a real serious infection. And so I want you to pray for her, if you will. And then Sister Rachel, Rachel Ranny has uh, uh, had surgery today. And just pray for her recovery, if you will. Um, and then Brother Rule Isham is scheduled for the 8th of April for surgery. And Brother Derek Burgess is scheduled the 10th of April. Uh, and so uh, let's pray for those folks, if you will. Father, we come before you today. And uh, Lord, we do uh, come before you with very thankful hearts. And we are thankful for your goodness and your mercy to us. Uh, we're thankful, Lord, that, uh, that, Lord, that you love us. And you died on the cross for us. And thank you, Lord, for... Uh, Lord, that your mercies are new every morning. We are certainly grateful for that. And uh, Lord, we're thankful for uh, your manifold blessings upon our church. Uh, Lord, you have certainly blessed us in a mighty way. And uh, you've been not only, uh, Lord, uh, with, with our ministries, but you've been with our people. And Lord, we're thankful for that. I'm thankful, Lord, for how that you've touched the, uh, the bodies of some of our sick folk. Uh, how that you've worked with Pam Baker and, and Lord and uh, with Jenny Scarborough and their cancer and the Lord delivered them from this and we're grateful for it. We're thankful, Lord, for how that you're uh, working Brother uh, Gary Fields and uh, Brother Daryl Hines. Uh, Lord, you've touched their bodies uh, in a mighty way and lifted them up. Brother Tony Evans' his surgery went very, very well. And, and so, Father, we, uh, we, we look at these folks we're praying for, and, and uh, Connie Gruby, and got some praise on her Wednesday night. And, and so, Father, as we come before you today, we just want to thank you uh, for these requests that we have uh, brought before the throne of grace. And, uh, Lord, we know that you have heard us in a mighty way, and for that we're grateful. And then, Father, we're, we're grateful for how that you've uh, blessed us and allowed us to see some folks saved and, and baptized and discipled. And, uh, Lord, we, we're just that thankful uh, that your hand is upon us. And, and so we want to we give you the glory and honor and the praise and that Christ would have the preeminence in all of it. It's not us. And so we thank you today for your goodness. Now, Father, we do have some uh, things to uh, bring before you today. Lord, I do pray for Sister Rachel that you'll be with her today and help her to heal well from this surgery now. Lord, cause this to work well for her, uh, that she could, uh, Lord, uh, have some, uh, uh, some, some health here. And, uh, Lord, she'll just be able to speak uh, a little louder. And so, Lord, we just commit this into thy hands. And then, Father, we, uh, we, we pray also for the ones got surgery coming up. I pray for Brother Derek Burgess. And, Lord, he's uh, had some... Uh, uh, has some serious issue with his heart, and I pray you just touch his body. But Lord, not only that, he's had been down in his back, and I just want to commit Derek and Lee Ann to you today. And then, Father, we, we want to pray that you'll be Brother Real Isham. He, he struggled with this ankle that he broke, Lord, uh, three years ago now coming up. And uh, Lord, they're scheduled again to do some surgery on him and to try to take some of this pain away. And I pray you'll just give him, uh, Lord, the, the doctor's wisdom and give him some healing that it could. Uh, Lord, would do that. And then, Father, I pray for uh, Sister Beverly R.C. as she has uh, got a knee replacement, and uh, pray you'll just uh, give these doctors wisdom there. And uh, when she has this, I pray you'd help her to heal well and all to go well with it. And so we just uh, commit that into thy hands as well. And so, Father, we, we commit these folk to you. Sister Laura Maxwell, we do just commit her to you today and ask that you just be with her according to thy will. This is a very serious infection, and so we commit it to you. And I would ask that you'd be with Donna and, uh, Lord, just be with the family. And so we commit them into thy hands and be with the doctors trying to help her. So, Father, these folk, we just want to lay before the throne of grace today that you'll just be with them and touch them. And, Lord, we have uh, some other folk that, uh, uh, Lord, really just reason of age and some other things are having some issues that we just want to pray for. And Lord, I do pray for uh, Brother Charles Wetzel and Miss June that you'll be with them, and Brother Larry Chambers and Miss Rita. I pray you just lift them up. Sister Diana Maynard, Lord, a lot of problems getting around. Be with her and Brother Stanley. And Lord, Sister Dorm again, she also is having some great heart issues of just uh, movement. And I pray for her and pray you be with uh, Brother Dave as he's helping her. And Lord, uh, uh, Brother Don, Miss Judy Bookman, and I pray you just lift them up and strengthen their bodies. I, Lord, I think of Brother Raymond Webb and Brother Paul Selby, both these men, uh, Lord, having uh, extreme uh, difficulty breathing. And we just pray you'd be with them and help them. I think of 
uh, Miss Willie Long, and I pray you'd lift up Sister Willie and strengthen Miss Willie, Sister Rosetta Dixon, strengthen her, Lord. And we just commit these uh, folk into thy hands and pray and you'd be with them. And, uh, Lord, that you'd lift them up and help them. And, Lord, we'll thank you. We do thank you uh, for what you've done and, Lord, what we believe you're going to do. So we just yield these things into thy hands today. And so, Father, we, uh, we, we ask for some other things. Lord, I do pray, Brother Ted Woody, you'll be with him. And, Lord, Brother Ted's had some issues. And, Lord, these doctors are, uh, Lord, uh, working with it. I just pray that you'd give them some wisdom. And, uh, Lord, just help them to be able to help Brother Ted. And you just touch him. You're still the great physician. And so we do commit this into thy hands and ask that you just be with it. Father, I do uh, pray today for Medella Vanda Ford that you be with Miss Medella and strengthen Miss Medella. I pray for Brother Harold Curley, you'll be with Harold and Miss Shirley as she's taking care of him. And Lord, I do ask for my mom today that you'd be with my mom and just touch her body, please, and lift her up. And uh, Lord, I pray for my dad that you'll be with him and Lord, to t touch him as well. And Lord, just give us wisdom there. And then I pray also for, uh, for Bertha, for Elizabeth's mother, that you'll be with her and Lord, just lift her up and strengthen her. And so, Father, we, we have these folk on our prayer list today, and I pray you'd be with them. Be with the cancer folks. I pray for uh, Brother Andy Hendricksman and Sister Ambly. You'll be with them and just continue to touch. Thank you for what you've done so far in that. Uh, I pray Brother Lane Conley that you'll lift up Brother Lane and help him. And, uh, Lord, I pray for Kathy Thomas that you'll be with Mr. Kathy and strengthen her. Lord, I pray you'll be with uh, Brother Jim Raines and Sister Judy. And he's through the treatments. May the testing come back that they've got this cancer. And, and, Lord, I pray for Carl and Cookie Street. Both of them need uh, your, your help, and I pray you just uh, strengthen their bodies and help them. And, and so, Father, we commit these, uh, these sick folk into thy hands today. Pray you'd be with them, and pray you just work according to that will. And then, Father, we pray that you'd be with us uh, this coming Lord's Day. Uh, we would ask now that you would just, uh, Lord, uh, give us the, uh, the moving of the Holy Spirit, even as folk begin to get in here early and get things ready. I pray that we could have the right spirit so that when folk walk into this place, they could feel the spirit of the Lord. And, and that, Lord, there could just be a, a welcome feeling. And, uh, Lord, just feel like that, that, really, Lord, they're at home. And I pray you'd bless that. I pray you'd be with each teacher in our Sunday school and each helper that we could all seek the power of the Holy Spirit and just be moved of you. I pray for, uh, uh, Lord, you'll be a Brother Larry in the choir and a special singing and uh, Lord, the piano playing. I pray that you'll be at the wall of that. I think it's be filled with unction from on high. And uh, Lord, be with our children's churches and those folk dealing with these kids. And may we raise a generation of young people that's just seeking God. And, and Lord, I have a message I believe uh, you've given me for this hour. And I pray you'd help me to deliver it uh, with power of the Holy Spirit. And so we just yield this to you. Lord, we just pray that you'd, you'd be with everything that goes on this coming Lord's Day, our band ministry, and Lord, our Hispanic ministry, pray you'd bless these things. And, and uh, Lord, may all of it bring glory and honor to Christ, and may you have the preeminence in it. And so, Lord, we commit ourselves in thy hands. Help us, Lord, to have a real revival. And then, Lord, we pray for our nation. Oh, dear Lord, our nation is in trouble. And we just pray that you'd just give us, uh, Lord, have your will in these upcoming elections. Give us some folk. That, would, that we could lead quiet and peaceable lives in serving you. And that, Lord, may we have revival. And so we just commit these things into thy hands. And, Lord, we love you today. Uh, we thank you for this uh, privilege of coming before you. And we thank you for hearing us. For it is in Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen.